so this is the 10th program the 10th program is uh, locally weighted regression uh, to fit the data points uh, so this program is based off of this blog uh, i'll probably leave a link in the description so this blog basically talks about how to perform locally weighted regression on this particular data distribution so that's what we're going to do uh, if you want to read about the math behind this and like see how it actually comes together uh, definitely check out this link but yeah let's get started so the first thing that we're going to do is we need to create our data points for which we are going to make our learning algorithm learn right so we need so we can't use any built-in classes for building the model so we need to just use probably numpy and matplotlib so i'll use uh, yeah so we have imported the numpy and matplotlib so i need to create x so basically i want my data set x to be a uh, thousand uh, having input like a thousand entries so i'm going to use uh, linspace to create uh, a thousand entries into my variable x so i'll just make it so i need thousand entries so what this line basically means is give me back uh, between the range minus three to three a thousand numbers and put them in my variable x so that's what I'm going to do with X and uh, similarly uh, we need to do some we need to add Y also so I want Y to be a function of X so I'm going to I'll just show demonstrate uh, let Y be a sign function of X right so let's do that and uh, let me just see if it runs and I'll just plot it so as you can see it uh, creates a sign function which is pretty much between the range of uh, minus 3 to plus 3 uh, but you know we want to get the graph which is demonstrated in this blog particularly because it's very interesting uh, so let's just uh, modify this function so it's going to be a logarithmic function log of uh, I don't want negative values so I'm going to use np absolute which only will uh, give the absolute value of x squared minus 1 plus 0 0.5 right so let's see how that goes I'll just add uh, a little bit of transparency so I'll just change the alpha value to 0 0.3 uh, so now it's kind, you kind of see like how the graph looks but it's kind of very predictable and uh, so I'll make it thousand actually there are very few data points here so yeah so you can see that our data point has been created however they're all very inline and they're very smooth so we need to bring in a little bit of uh, randomness into it so I will just update x to be I'll just add some random noise um, All thousand of them, yeah. Size, size is thousand, yeah. So now you can see there's a little bit of uh, you know randomness associated with it. It's not entirely predictable. Uh, so that's the creation of data set. Uh, to give a quick re recap, we had x and uh, y. Y is a function on x. X is between range minus three to three, and y is a function which is x squared minus one absolute value plus zero point five, and then put it in a log function. So this is what you get. Now let's define our uh, algorithm, which is going to take care of the learning part. So so. So here what we're going to do, we're going to add the bias term, tau is the parameter, x and y are the inputs that we have given previously. Okay, this is tau. So x naught equals, so these two lines are for appending the bias term, so I'll just finish those up. Uh, 
so yeah we have appended uh, x to we have added the bias term basically to our uh, input so here we fit the data so we have to define the radial kernel that we are going to be using i think in the block they described a gaussian kernel we'll get back to that in a moment so we need to find the penrose inverse and then uh, we'll use the built in method to inverse of x w so this is the numpy notation for uh, matrix multiplication this is a shorthand notation to multiply all these uh, vector matrices so x w is multiplied with x and then again is multiplied with x w and then with y uh, if you want to see like why the math is this way you i recommend you to check out the blog uh, so then we'll uh, return x not multiplied by beta right so we are supposed to define the radial kernel now so so if you let's get back to the blog and here they talk about the radial kernel so this is the kernel that we have used e to the power minus x x minus x not whole squared by 2 times tau squared. So we need to define that using uh, in our radial kernel. So we'll just return x not whole squared. Minus two times tau squared. So this is the function which is going to be our kernel. Uh, let's see if that runs. So now we need to plot how we have performed against the input data. So let's so input parameter is going to be tau. So we're going to create a new testing example. So which is going to be uh, similar to our uh, initial uh, the thousand uh, values which we have put we are going to create like probably like 300 this time again minus 3 to 3 uh, number of elements we want is uh, 300 all right so what are the predictions that our model is going to make based on the new inputs which are in the domain prediction Local regression of x naught x y tau for so this is an inline for loop so for in each and every for each and every element x naught in domain we're going to take x naught and then we're going to pass it to our local regression and whatever output we get we're going to put it in prediction so let's uh, plot our initial uh, sorry plot our initial data uh, there's going to be x y and y equal to 0 0.3 and then let's plot how we our algorithm is performing against the data so we'll just use a plot here instead of a scatter plot so on domain how is the prediction Right. Uh, let's put. Let's give it some color so that we can see how it's working. So now we need to provide the input tau value, which is the parameter, uh, and based on this, we see the output. Let's hope it works. Uh, it doesn't. 
x is not defined uh, where okay yeah len of where did i write that yeah so it's supposed to be capital x okay beta is not defined did i make a spelling mistake uh, yeah Neta, beta cool yeah so now we can see that our uh, algorithm has learned uh, the based on the data distribution uh, how to fit the data and this is the curve that is represented in the red color so quick recap on what we did uh, really quickly created the data minus 3 to plus 3 lin space so that puts it in x and y is a function on x which is x squared minus 1 plus 0 0.5 we have our x and y we are plotting it to see how it looks uh, you can add some noise to make it not very predictable and once we have that we create our local regression and the radial kernel the radial kernel is given by minus of x naught minus x minus x naught whole square by minus 2 times tau time whole square uh, and then we are going to just plot it for new 300 numbers uh, we are going to predict uh, by calling our function and see how it performs and this is the output